Lower back pain is the leading cause of missed work in the United States. And you know what? Americans spend more than $50 billion a year just trying to treat it. But for some with debilitating pain, there has been little hope from, for relief until now. Tonight, WCCO health reporter Dennis Dota has details on a medical procedure that is changing lives. Don't tell Dallas Kicker to give up fishing. It's something that I live for. I summer fish, I winter fish. Um, that's what I work for, is so I can go fishing. Like any Minnesotan, being outdoors is in his blood. But his work as a diesel mechanic around heavy equipment most of his life has caused him debilitating back pain. I just had so much pain, I couldn't stand straight up. I was hunched over. The turning and twisting with weight uh, caused a lot of my problems. I've got five herniated ruptured discs, and two of them are degenerative. Dallas was taking heavy doses of narcotics and nerve-blocking medication, but they didn't really work. Last year, I fished one time uh, for five days, and I paid for it for six months afterwards. I'm about a seven out of nine right now. Barb Wellington is in the same boat. It's miserable. Yeah, it affects your walk. It affects, affects your sitting, um, lying down. I mean, I, when I was working, I'd be walking around and feel like someone stabbed me in the lower back and I dropped to my knees. She's at Fairview South Dell Hospital to try a neurostimulator for her back. It's kind of a pacemaker for pain. It triggers the nervous system like a pacemaker keeps a heart beating. So I'm just feeding the wire up the spine. Dr. Andrew Will specializes in treating pain, especially back pain. He uses a live x-ray called a fluoroscope to watch as he moves electrodes along Barb's spine. Barbara, there's going to be another poke here. Once they're in place, the doctor hooks them up to a battery. Is that covering some of the area that you have pain? An electric shock basically tricks the brain and keeps it from feeling pain. Barb is awake through the whole thing to help guide the medical staff. Feeling it. Feeling that in the right leg? Yep. Is it getting up into that right low back for you? Yes. The whole procedure takes less than an hour. Picture perfect. Despite the fact 80% of Americans suffer from back pain, surgery is seldom used to treat it. The pain pacemaker is used only as a last resort when everything else has failed and pain is controlling someone's life. The good news is as there are more things that we can do for pain, there's more for the doctors to offer. Dr. Will says about 75% of the people who get the neurostimulator implant have success, meaning most of them are able to reduce or eliminate their medications. Some people say electricity is the new drug. It's electricity, you can't get addicted to it, and uh, it can keep working for you for the rest of your life. Dallas has been living with the neurostimulator for about six months now. He says the relief has been amazing, and it's so easy. If I got more pain, I just put it to my back and I turn it up or turn it down right from the controls right here, and everything is fine. The pain goes away. Making it possible for Dallas to do his job and get outdoors. While this procedure only blocks pain, Dallas hopes it will buy him time until medicine can repair the damage in his back. My option of fixing my back is fusing my whole lumbar. And I'm not ready for someone to take me to the bathroom, dress me in the morning, because I wouldn't be able to bend. I'd bend right about here, and that would be it. And 46 years old, I'm not ready for that. And Dallas, Dennis rather, tells us that Barb Wellington surgery, that she's had great success with her neurostimulator as well. To learn more about this procedure in treating any kind of pain, just go to WCCO.com links.